Good morning, everyone. This is Julie McDonald with Microcom Technologies. And I'd like to thank all of you for attending today's webinar with ReadyNet Solutions. Today's host is our dear friend, Bill Pedersen, and he is their voice product director, and he'll be presenting today. If anyone has any questions, please submit them in the question box so Bill can answer them at the end of today's presentation. Bill, thank you so much for being with us again today. Looking forward to what you have to share with us. And I'm finished for now. Please go ahead and take it on over. Thanks, Julie. Greatly appreciate it and greatly appreciate everyone uh, attending today's uh, webinar. And great news coming out of Salt Lake City. Um, and some we're very excited on a, a new product introduction and maybe how this will play in uh, your successes as a business as well too. One of the things that um, uh, I hear about from the uh, voice carriers, the uh, CLEX and the, the hosted voice uh, companies that are out there is to be competitive in this market, um, they need to be able to offer competitive solutions. And, and it got us thinking of about a, a couple of ways to do that to help our customers. So this is actually going to put ReadyNet into a new uh, space um, that uh, we've never really ventured much into. We have from the voice ATA perspective, but we've never have from the um, voice uh, phone perspective, the IP phone perspective. But that's changing as of today, and we're really excited to, to share this with you. So just this um, past uh, month, uh, middle of July, ReadyNet and Flying Voice um, signed an exclusive agreement to be Flying Voice's um, exclusive distributor for North America uh, for their voice products. And that means in their IP phones and in their ATAs. And we're gonna talk about some of these products today and kind of go over some of the uh, features, advantage benefits of the of these devices and how you can play uh, into this. We are very excited. Uh, ReadyNet and Flying Voice has had a long, long uh, relationship. Uh, we've utilized Flying Voice uh, as a manufacturer for a lot of our uh, managed routers. Um, and they do the hardware design and we add the firmware. And so this is kind of a step um, to help both companies and to also uh, capture some market share. So the, let me see if I can define the, the problem that I, we hear constantly. Um, I was at IT Expo uh, this last year, Channel Partners, Smaller uh, service providers for voice, one of the biggest things that they have uh, is to compete against the big players, the XYZs, the ABCs. We're not going to name them. We, we know who they are. Where they provide a, a, a phone and the license seat all in one package, and so you pay one price. Whether they rent the phone as part of the solution or if they buy the phone outright. But with some of the big players out there, uh, Yealink, Polycom, to name a couple, um, it makes it sometimes hard to compete in those spaces. And so uh, we approached Flying Voice and said, we think we have a, a really unique um, opportunity to help companies be more competitive in this product space to offer solutions that are cost effective and still give the end user a really good experience with their with their phones. And so uh, Flying Voice thought that was a great idea. Um, and uh, so the, 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 the formal uh, relationship uh, to be in their North American distributor was established. And we're pretty excited about this because some of these phones and ATAs are pretty unique and they're different, um, but they hit a price point that we've been uh, hearing from our customers that really makes sense and makes it competitive for them to be in the space as well also. So I'm gonna jump back to our main page here. And if you go to readynetsolutions.com, 
you can find all of our products here, our, our, our announcement here of the uh, Flying Voice and ReadyNet relationship. But if you go to VoIP phones with Wi-Fi, and we'll, I'm gonna just click on this one here uh, for the moment, but this basically shows the six phones that we've brought in, and we've got uh, a, uh, additional uh, phones that are in development right now that we'll be bringing over. But these are anywhere from an entry-level phone to um, an office desk phone to an executive phone. We have um, a Wi-Fi enabled uh, IP phone as well. And uh, this one right here, I'm just circling my mouse around. This is the big button uh, Wi-Fi IP phone. This is a really nice phone for um, maybe some elderly folks. Um, if you're doing residential voice or um, assistive living facilities that you can provide these uh, this phone a little bit bigger buttons that they can work with and a bigger display that they can uh, readily see um, but yeah one of the neat things about these phones uh, on most of these you're going to see that it's wi-fi enabled which means i don't have to have an ethernet connection in the room I can connect the phone to the existing Wi-Fi network. So all I have to do is literally just plug the phone into a power outlet um, with the power supply that's supplied with the phone, power on the phone, it'll connect to the um, wireless interface of the home or of the business, and I have a phone. And you'll see we've got grayscale phones. Most of all of our phones are color screen though from the, you know, an eight line phone to a four line. Uh, actually, this is a, two, uh, a single line phone here. And then we have our FIP G plus Elite, uh, which is a touch screen phone. I think if I remember right, don't hold me to this, but I believe it has 16 lines uh, that you can configure. And all you do is just swipe to the left uh, to go to uh, additional pages for your speed dials and your customized buttons and everything. The other one which I really like is this FIP16 uh, uh, portable Wi-Fi phone, this cordless phone. This is a very nice phone and is very nicely priced um, competitively and has really, really exceptional performance and exceptional range on this phone. Um, we've had uh, customers use these in their warehouses and. And they're fairly large warehouses with you know inventory from the floor to the ceiling and get really really good coverage in the warehouse for connectivity and that so very excited to announce uh the um ip phones and we'll talk a little bit more about these here in a moment the other product that we brought in are the um voip analog atas now you you're very familiar with ReadyNet's ATAs, these are identical, um, but we're just going to be saying flying voice on the bottom of them now. And we've got dual port, we have four port, and we have eight port um, ATAs uh, between the uh, 51202. Uh, this one's unique, it's got two LAN ports on it and one WAN port, um, where these two, the 504 and the 508, just have one single WAN and one single LAN. And on the, on the I believe on the four port and the eight port ATAs, those are gig interfaces. And on the uh, two port, it's 10100 FASTE interface on it. Great for um, all kinds of applications um, from call boxes to alarm lines, alarm panels, elevators. We've talked about this in the past. It does support T.30 and T.38 fax support. Um, these all will be able to, uh, including our phones, have remote management and remote provisioning. Um, that should be coming out uh, very soon for us uh, any day now. And so uh, that's very, very exciting. And then, of course, remember if that um, if you need something on an ATA perspective with an LTE, uh, the, you've always had the LTE 520S, which is a dual port 
uh, LTE um, router as well also. So yeah, we're really excited about these products. Um, the great thing is on the uh, Wi-Fi phones, like I mentioned, a provisioning server uh, will be offered as well and also a management server so you can remotely manage, customize your, your phones, up, do firmware updates as needed, uh, remotely connect these to um, the access point uh, from the management portal as well. So the we're looking to basically streamline and make the provisioning and management process as simplified as, as possible. So how can you get uh, more information? Uh, feel free to go to our website. You can download uh, more information from, from the website on the phones. Reach out to your account manager and let them know that you're interested in trying a phone or two and they will contact Bill Pedersen here at ReadyNet, yours truly, and I will make arrangements to get a sample sent out to you as well as uh, get you set up on the management portal and the provisioning portal as well too. So these phones are a Broadsoft, uh, well, Cisco certified, um, Asterix uh, certified, uh, there's a few others that um, they work on as well out there. And if you are an asterisk, uh, you have an asterisk switch, you can just go up and look up uh, when on the provisioning uh, for the uh, phone, just pull up flying voice um, and then the model number of that phone. And if you don't have that information, let us know as well too. And we'll get you that information so you can load that into your switch as well. Um, but yeah, very excited um, to be offering this. Um, and in our future um, uh, seminars, we'll go through the uh, the GUI and the management piece of it, and talk about a little bit more how to set these uh, these phones up. But uh, they're pretty simple. If you're familiar with ReadyNet's routers and our other ATA products, um, you'll have the same. Uh, great user experiences you had in the past. Um, so if there's questions, hopefully you've got questions regarding um, these products or a little bit about the applications. Um, and maybe you might have a question on, okay, how can I best market or um, provide this product uh, for our customers? Um, if, you, if that's you know in the back of your mind, it's like, okay, how can I bundle this? Um, I can share with you some of the things that I've experienced in the industry as well, too. And you can reach out to your account manager and we can schedule a call and have that discussion. But with that, Julie, I'm going to turn the time back over to you to answer any questions that we might have uh, regarding this new uh, product line uh, for ReadyNet. Thank you, Bill, so much uh, for that wonderful presentation. And I do have questions all set to go for you. And obviously, uh, looking forward to future webinars to, you know, maybe do a little bit of a deep dive and a little more about this new product that you're releasing and all that good stuff. But let's get started with the questions. Uh, here we go. First one. Do you have any plans to expand or enhance the current lineup of joint products in the future from Flying Voice. Uh, second half of the question, what can customers expect in terms of product development and evolution? Well, that's a great question. Um, so in the in partnerships uh, with Flying Voice on products, um, it's kind of a two part. Um, uh, from a ReadyNet perspective, we we really rely on and count on uh, Flying Voice to provide a great manufacturing uh, solution with great products that are proven and and kind of qualified uh, for environments like this um, that are going to last um, quite some time. Uh, on the flip side of it, Flying Voice is also looking at ReadyNet as a partner to provide information regarding new product developments or even product enhancements um, on the existing products. Uh, and I'll share one with you. The one I really like is this big button phone. This is a very unique phone. 
but maybe uh, I could remove this handset and incorporate this wireless handset into it. So now I've made this phone cordless as well as still has the big button capabilities on it. Um, offering video uh, conferencing uh, capabilities with your switch and adding a video camera so you can do video conferencing uh, not only on your desk phone, but to be able to say, okay, let me take that video and slide it over to my desktop computer. So they kind of talk with each other. And so there's a lot of things that um, we, we, we're working on. Um, I'm excited because this is just a start of um, what we have. And I know, uh, you know, with the things that are already in the works in the background, there's a lot more products that I think you'll be very excited about. Um, but this, this just kind of gets us in the door. And, you know, we're not trying to be a me too company and provide phones without bringing a value add and differentiating ourselves from, from the others. And that's one of the things that uh, we really try to pride ourselves on ReadyNet is, is providing solution-based um, products for our customers. Thank you so much, Bill. We're very excited about this new product from you. Uh, next question here for you. What is the vision for the long-term collaboration between ReadyNet Solutions and Flying Voice? Uh, let's see, second half of the question. How do you see the partnership evolving over the years? Well, um, right now, I'm gonna take a stab at this. I think we're around 10 years in our relationship with Flying Voice. Um, and with that said, I mean, Flying Voice has is, is really worked to, to get into the uh, North American market. Um, and they've done business here in the past, but not as much or, you know, as focused as that they would like. And so I think this is gonna help solidify and strengthen uh, Flying Voice as it will ReadyNet uh, for, you know, growth opportunities, um, but uh, I'm, I'm very proud with our relationship that we have uh, with Flying Voice. We do weekly conference calls, we have engineering calls, we have uh, business calls on a weekly basis. Uh, we go over all of our products, we have direct access to engineers, we have a ReadyNet engineer embedded um, uh, in the market over there as well too. So even though we might have a little bit of differential between time zones, we're able to almost really work 24 seven around the clock between our work hours here in North America and, and our employees over there as well. So I think it is as a win-win all around. Thank you, Bill. That sounds so good. And definitely uh, tech support is all is all in there. So that's a yeah. common, you know, a common inquiry here. So it sounds like you got that covered. Yes. Um, in fact, tech support, uh, you bring it up. I'm, I'm glad you brought it up. I'll, just, I'll show you. If you go to support page here on ReadyNet now, um, we've got products, downloads, information. You're going to see this expand to uh, phones here as, as we grow it. But if you ever need any support, just hit our contact us um, and send us an email. It'll automatically generate a ticket for our engineering and our support team at any given time to ask about anything, any questions that you have regarding products. So. And thank you so much. Next question here for you. Um, do you have any plans to educate customers or the industry, we would think you would, uh, about the benefits and features of the joint products through, you know, perhaps other webinars, workshops, or any other means? Yeah, in fact, that's a, it's a great question. And that's the one we hear the most is, okay, uh, what are the what are the benefits why should i go with this type of phone well um you know the one thing that we talked about earlier is pricing and make and allowing uh, uh, a reseller to bundle this with their existing services that they already have that they don't have to go out and procure a 300 dollars ip phone or 250 dollars 200 ip phone you've got a very good um 
uh, IP phone that you can work. Now, you're also going to need to qualify this onto your network. And we that's why we want to offer samples for you to uh, test and get this uh, and work with you to get this built onto your network. So when you go to provision, all the auto provisioning is done. We have um, a, a redirects that we can, that we basically have two provisioning servers on here. One's the One provisioning servo is when the phone plugs in, it recognizes the Mac and serial number and then can be redirected to your provisioning server. Um, that's critical that we make that work. Uh, we can't be fumbling around, you know, if you've got a hundred phone opportunity, you can't be fumbling around to manually provision these things. But um, so provisioning is very important. We understand that the samples are all the firmware is based on the, basically the same family. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a simpler process, but we do know it's going to take some time and some effort. So from a cost standpoint on the phones, the provisioning of the phones, and if you are a large enough customer um, that you know wants to run volumes on these phones as well too, we can even private label these phones for your uh, for your company as well too, and and would highly uh, would very much love that um, uh, discussion when it comes to that. But um, but yeah, crawl, walk, and run on this whole process um, give you a good experience, give your customers a good experience, also give your customer service group a, a good experience as well too um, to give kind of that whole full fill of my end user experience on these phones. So, um, but yeah, reach out to your account manager and we'll be glad to work with you. We just need to let us know what type of switch you're working on, what you might need from us, and we'll, we'll pull that information uh, together and, and provide that for you. Excellent, Bill. Thank you so very much, especially since our customer service team and our sales team uh they do uh, uh log into these webinars so they're hearing you thank you for that they're definitely <laughs> yeah. hearing you <laughs> yeah. a couple yes. more questions okay let's go here how easily can the p22g integrate with existing communication systems such as voip services video conferencing platforms and crm software Okay, so uh, three questions there. One with the the, yeah. uh, the voice platform for the voice switch. Um, very simple. Um, all really you all you really need is the proxy server, the outbound server. If you have a secondary server, you can add that to the um, to the phone as well. But keep in mind that's all part of the provisioning. So as we redirect the phone. Um, to your provisioning server, all that information would be uploaded into the phone. For video conferencing, um, right now, none of these phones have video conferencing capability. I think you'll see it on the FIP 15G Plus. That'll probably be the next one that will probably have a video option that will come out, not to give away everything, but um, that would then integrate. And in CRM, uh, we, it's really the, it's for a CRM platform. That's really what's tied to your voice platform. So if you've got a good strong integration between your CRM and your soft switch for your voice services, you'll have the same experience on the on the phone as well. Also, great. Thank you so much, Bill. Last question here for you. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you tell us the base your basic differences between your uh, uh, what you would call residential phones as opposed to business class phones? Well, um, really, uh, from the differences, the phone is is a phone. Um, they're all built on the same platform, same type of firmware. Applications are a little different. Um, so I could take any of these phones and use them in my home. And based on the switch, and the, the the amount of features that are allowed on the switch is basically you know what you're going to have in a residential environment versus an enterprise environment now with this big button phone this is kind of a little bit different because notice i've got these abc buttons 
those ABC buttons are actually memory buttons that can be programmed to dial out a specific number. Uh, the red help button is also, so if you were to look at it, what we did is we went A, B, C, D, but we made D a red help button. And so depending on the environment that it's in, that help button could dial 911, it could dial a family member, it could dial the nurse at the assistive living facility, it could, uh, it could do a number of things. So those are all individually programmed where you don't see those on these buttons on the, on the, what I would call the enterprise or business phones, you don't see that. But on this one, this is a really nice phone. Uh, um, I'd love to have one, you know, I, I've got two of them. I just picked them up yesterday. Um, definitely love to have one at my father's house, you know, he's getting up there in age and, um, you know, it, this, the, just having the bigger buttons just makes it easier for him. They're more visible. Having a bigger display is a little bit more visible as well also. This phone I see evolving a lot. Not only from, a, like we talked about in a cordless handset perspective, but maybe also for a hearing impaired display as well also. Um, putting a larger display on it, um, big buttons, um, a voice to text translation during a voice call, that type of stuff. So, but that's that's the way I see it. You could you know you could take this 22G um, as a home phone and you know put it you know on the kitchen counter or somewhere. It'd be a great phone. Um, do you need a multi-line phone for the home? Maybe if you have a home office, this would be a great um, extension uh, to use you know in your home office as well too. So hopefully that answers that. It certainly does. Thank you, Bill. And those programmable programmable phones, I'm sure, would be very valuable in ways that you just described it. Thank you so much for answering all of those questions for us today. And thank you to everyone attending today's webinar. And of course, if anyone has any further questions, please feel free to contact your sales rep or email us at sales at microcomtech.com. And if you wish to review the products mentioned and shown here today, please remember this webinar presentation has been recorded and will be uploaded to our Microcom YouTube channel so you can view it again, uh, which we will do, especially when I uh, let other folks know ReadyNet's got phones. <laughs> yep, ReadyNet's in the phone business. And we're very Looking excited. Looking forward. <laughs> Looking forward to that, Bill. Thank you so very much. Everybody have a wonderful and fantastic day. And Bill, until our next webinar, we will be in contact with you. Thank you again. Thank you, Julie. Have a great day, everyone. You too. Bye-bye.